TVS Motor Company has launched its first performance scooter, the TVS Ntorque 125 in India. The scooter costs 58,750 Indian rupees, ex showroom, Delhi. The is based on the TVS graphite concept which the brand showcased at the 2014 Auto Expo. TVS says that the scooter will be available in the market in a week. The most significant feature of the scooter is its fully digital instrument cluster. It is Bluetooth enabled, with TVS Smart Zonek technology. It pairs with an exclusive Ntork mobile app which the rider can download from the Google Play Store. The app is available only for Android devices as of now. It boasts 55 features including navigation assist, turn by turn, top speed recorder, inbuilt lap timer, phone battery strength display, last parked location assist, service reminder, trip meter and multi-ride statistic modes such as street and sport, displays relevant information in the cluster based on whichever is selected. It also has an incoming call, SMS alert. The TVS Ntorque 125 derives its styling from a stealth aircraft, with aggressive bodywork. The halogen headlamp gets an LED DRL at the bottom. The indicators are of bulb type and the tail light is LED. The seat features premium red stitching, and the fuel filler is just behind the pillion seat. The apron gets a hook and the under-seat storage capacity stands at 22 liters. There's a smartphone charger under the seat as well. Coming to the powertrain, it uses a new generation Kuti Rev 124.79cc, single-cylinder three-valve sock mill with air cooling. It turns out 9.4 PS at 7,500 revolutions per minute and 10.5 Newton meters at 5,500 revolutions per minute. Cycle parts include telescopic front fork, and twin tube gas charged rear shock absorbers. The diamond cut alloy wheels come to a halt using 220 mm front pedal disc and 130 mm rear drum. The Torque 125 comes in four colors, matte yellow, matte green, matte red, and matte white. At present only the disc variant is available. It competes with Honda Graza, Suzuki Access 125 and the Vespa SXL slash VXL 125 in the segment. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.